Hello everyone, David A. Cox here with PCClassesOnline.com and today I want to create a quick tutorial video for all of you to show you a new app that I have found to be a complete lifesaver. And the reason why I'm doing this is because when iOS 7 came out for the iPhone, a lot, it had a lot of great features, um, but there was one major flaw, at least in my opinion, which had to do with the calendar application. The, the calendar was just, it, it lost all of its functionality. And there was a key view that I used all the time, which was where the top part of the screen had the month and the bottom part had the day that you were tapped on at that time. And in iOS 7, that is gone. And I just found it that when I needed to create an appointment, I need to do it quickly. A lot of times I have a client on the phone with me live as I'm trying to create an appointment and I just don't have time to have to go through all these extra steps just to see if I have a client at that time. So what I'm going to show you is an app that I discovered. I went through a whole bunch of different ones trying to find one that really stood out as the best and this is my favorite. It is a free application and it's very simply called Cal. C-A-L. You can get it of course in the App Store and all of you out there who have felt the same thing that I have, voila! There you have it. It is exactly just like what you would want it to be. Now there's it has a couple of other features here that are also kind of nice and actually it takes a few of these ideas from the built-in calendar in iOS 7. So let me show you a little bit about how it works. As you can see right here I have my monthly view and down here I have the day that I'm tapped on which is today's date October 3rd. Now let's say I want to see more of what's going on here. Sorry we're live. I can't help get rid of that. Let's say I want to see more about what's going on here today. I can actually take my finger and slide up and it'll blow up and it'll show me all the different appointments that I have today. I can pull it back down and I'm back to my monthly view. Couple other things. Let's say I want to get to November. All I have to do is slide my finger from uh, left, from right to left and it goes to November. If I want to go back in time I do the opposite obviously. Couple other features. Um, if you look down here at the very bottom there's a little arrow. Might be a little bit hard for you to see um, but when you tap on that arrow it'll go back to today's date. Also, you can go up here to the gear and play with some of the settings. So we have, of course, visible calendars. I only have one, so I'm not going to even go bother to go into that. If you have multiple calendars, you can set a default calendar. And what's great with all of this is you don't have to import your data. It talks to the pre-existing calendar. So if you've been using Surrey, if you continue to use Surrey to create appointments, there is no additional step it will automatically bring in all of that data. Likewise, if you use Google Calendars, it'll do the same thing. Also, you can see here default reminders you can set. Now, here's an interesting feature. You have navigation settings. So, if you are putting into your address, I'm sorry, into your calendar, a appointment with an address, you can choose to have it either talk to Apple Maps or Google Maps or Waze, should you have that app. A nice feature that I wish Apple gave you. Scrolling down a little bit further you can see a few other options here. For example you can choose what day the week starts at. In my case I have Sunday. Feedback, we're not going to go over that. Photo theme here is kind of dumb. I will admit to that. Basically when you're flipping through these different pages there's like these quick images in the background for no real apparent reason. And you can choose to have them be food themed or fashion themed or art themed. I find that to be incredibly dumb but whatever, it's a good app. So what I did find that I will share with you is that if you choose more than one theme, it tends to slow down the application. So I chose just one, which is food. Um, app icon badge basically means that on the app itself, this is what the app looks like without any tweaking, but what you can do is tap up here to current date and instead of having like a normal alert, this three represents the date. So today is October 3rd. Um, I don't like that because it kind of throws me off. It makes me think that I have three upcoming appointments and I'll freak out, especially as you hit the end of the month. Pending invitations, same thing. That can be what that number is. Personally, I like to keep it clean and at none. And that's about it. They do have another app called AnyDo, which is sort of a replacement for the Reminders app, which I've never had an issue with, but you can, of course, check them out if you like. 
This is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com. If you've never heard about our service, we are a free public service, no commitment of any kind. Uh, you can go to our website, PCClassesOnline.com, and we offer tons of live Mac, PC, iPhone, and iPad classes. We are a service that is built specifically for baby boomers. However, really anyone can gain something from our service. So I hope you will check us out. And should you be watching us on YouTube, of course, we do appreciate that little thumbs up button at the bottom of the video. That's all, everyone. Take care.